So, Ryan, one guy that we almost jumped to, but I wanted to give the running back a little bit of love, was Cam Williams, another talented wide receiver who has been on campus multiple times in the past. We had a couple of talented receivers, obviously, that were at the event, including Jack Larson at tight end, who I know we want to talk about a little bit as well. But let's start with Cam Williams. I know he's a he's got some length to him. He's right around six foot one, 180 pounds or so. Really smooth type of athlete. What did you see from Cam yesterday? Well, one, race? he looked bigger than 180 pounds. He looked he looked six one and a half, right? At least six one and a half. He was a lot fuller than I thought he was going to be. And I mean that in a good way. Like he was cut. He had a really athletic body. He wasn't the, he wasn't like narrow shouldered, like Bronte Johnson's tall and thin, right? Like he's going to have to fill out and all that. But when you look at Cam Williams, like he looks like a, an older player, just physically looks like an older player. So that was the first thing that stood out. And again, that's always the first thing you want to look at at a camp is okay. Well, how does this kid look? Does he have broad shoulders? Or is he narrow? Can he fill out his frame? And those type of things. And then after that, it was just he's he's he ran a four four seven, and you could just see it when he ran the forty. I didn't I didn't know what the time was initially. I heard I heard one of the Notre Dame coaches went up to him afterwards, and had not one no not a coach. There was somebody that was at the camp that went up to him afterwards and said you know four four seven like wow he's like yeah I was hoping to get under four five but you know so I mean he that's where I heard the four four seven. But you could see, you know, because they do testing with these kids, right? And they do 40 times and agilities and all that kind of stuff. And they had all of the kids run. But when Cam ran, you could kind of see them all. You could see a, a buzz. And, Ryan, you've been doing this in the scouting world. I mean, you know when somebody ran a time that people are impressed by. Because there's two reactions. One is everybody looks around to confirm, like, oh. you know, And then there's the, there's the oh, crap, he ran a 4-7 that you just kind of like, Oh, uh, you everybody kind of you kind of look down at first, and you're like, and, and then mouth, you're like, oh, mouth you, gets open a little bit. Yeah, like, you have like, ooh, you know, you can see when someone ran a bad time, but when they start quickly turning around, like showing each other the watch and stuff like that, like you let the dude, the dude ran some stuff, and you know, four four seven for a kid with his size and frame as a sophomore is a good time, and so the reason they're looking around is they're all comparing, right? Like one guy may have had a four four seven. The reason you have like three four people timing at a time is sometimes you get a fast start or a late start or a, 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 a too fast of a finish or a late finish, which is going to make a kid look slower or faster. Well, the reason you have multiple people timing is you kind of look, you know, Hey, I had a four, four, seven, you guys, I got a four, six, one, you know, like, okay, did you have a clean, you know, I got, you know, cause you kind of know, Ryan, when you've done this for a long time, you kind of know, like, mm, I got a late start on that one, or I, I jumped the gun on that. You, you kind of feel it. So oh, that's yeah. when you, that's why you compare. And then if like, if there's three people doing it and one person's the outlier, you know, the outlier, didn't get it right. And that's why you have multiple people. So that's why they're all buzzing, like looking around and th everybody had a very similar time. And so I think that was a big thing for me is because he looks like he has speed on film, but again, it's okay. Is it the competition? Like, but he went out there and I mean, and he would just run by people on go routes. I mean, that's the thing you want to see. Like, and it was a decent group of DBs yesterday, but he was running by guys, getting steps, catching the ball down the field. He's a really clean route runner, very efficient route runner. Like he's, I don't know who coaches him, but he's been well coached. I mean, he for a sophomore, he he knows how to play football. Uh, had a really nice post rally. I mean, as a college receiver, I I would have coached him up a couple of things, but for a sophomore rising junior, you know, stem the guy out, stuck him, beat him to the top, created separation, and just once he got a step on the kid, the kid had no chance, and and he made a great play on it, and and just real, and he catches the ball clean, Ryan. Like he just he he attacks the ball even when it's in his body, he still gets it. You know what I mean? Because like sometimes the ball's right here, you can't go like this when the ball's coming at your chest. Sure. But he'll still kind of, you know, natural get plucker. It. Yeah. Natural plucker. Doesn't yeah. just let the ball come into his chest. Cause if the ball hits my hands here, unless you get your hands on my hands, I'm still catching it. If the ball gets into your body and you hit me from behind, the ball's popping out. It's just physics. And so, you know, showed me that, showed me confidence, good body control on some back shoulder stuff. Just, you know, is he a dynamic? Like, oh my gosh, that's the next Wolf Fuller guy? No. But other than that, I loved everything I saw about him hands yeah. speed uh, foot quickness loose hips good body control and he doesn't when the ball's deep he doesn't run with his hands extended which i hate late hands man. he's just late hands yeah. right that's mm -hmm. a sign of a confident kid and a kid that's been coached up well so i i like i loved everything i saw from cam yesterday you know he's ranked in like the 150 range that's the floor for me like th mm. that ranking is the floor for me. I think he he looked like a top hundred caliber kid to me yesterday. 
no question about it. Yeah, I think from a style perspective, I would say he's a little comparable to like a Lorenzo Styles, right? He's got kind of that long, lean frame, but he's really explosive and he's got that quickness to him. I think that's kind of like he could be a, for me, Cam Williams, I think could be a three level separator, right? Like he's mentioned the speed. I think he's got the flexibility to run some routes. So very impressive day from Cam Williams. The other thing on that, Ryan, too, is the comparison with Lorenzo. Lorenzo, part of what makes Lorenzo good is he's a smart football player, too. He's not just an athletic kid. He's a smart, he's got a football IQ. And and you Cam shows some of that on film, but you really kind of got a feel for that yesterday with just you, know, you could see him whenever Coach Stucky was talking, you could just see Cam just like like razor like focus on what he was saying. And you could just see he likes to be coached. He likes to, you know, and he's he was a really like mild kid too. Like he wasn't out there like getting in people's face. He just has a quiet confidence to him. Like, you know, I hate to do this to you, man, but sorry. It's got to be done, you know, and then, you know, uh, like what's that lyric from the Jay-Z, right? Like, you know, I hate to do it to you as hate to you have it done or I forget the, what the lyric is, but like that's kind of how Cam carried himself, which I liked as well. You know, I don't mind a flamboyant receiver, but I also like those quiet assassins, you know, like the Jerry Rices and mm-hmm. and the Isaac Bruce's and, and you know, guys like that. I, I you know, I, I'm a big fan of that. So that's how Cam showed to me today. So I, I wanted to compare that part, too. Yeah, kind of lulls you to sleep a little yeah. bit, right? Like you don't yeah. really expect it, and then it's just like, oh, that's four right. four seven running past right. me. That's that's different, right? right. So, yeah, now nah, I'm Cam Williams is a guy that we have been high on for a little bit here, and it's always nice to verify those things yeah. in person. Another.